with the absolute blowout of the night. LeBron and the Lakers taking on the Pelicans, and this one was hideous. First quarter, LeBron with the – what is that? Who's he throwing that to? Well, I guess Herbert Jones. And then defense optional? That's embarrassing. Not a great start for the Lakers, and it would just get worse. Second quarter, Russell Westbrook. What is that? Defense optional. Take a look at this. LeBron, he's back. Anybody else want to consider guarding C.J. McCollum? Doesn't look that way. 41 seconds to go in the half. Lakers down a dozen and just getting worse. It's another turnover. It's Jones the other way. Lakers, 16 turnovers in the first half. And then third quarter, they pick up right where they left off. Struggling to hang on to the ball. LeBron throwing it to no one in particular. Listen to the fans. Yeah, they were booing. I was booing, and I was 3,000 miles away. Later in the third, Pelicans up 28. And off a miss, DeAndre Jordan, what is this? Look at this pass. I, I, I really have no explanation. The Lakers lose huge. And after the game, there were far more questions than there were answers. I don't have an answer from tonight. I mean, obviously, you talk about the future. I don't, that's for us all to figure out. I mean, you don't know what can happen in the next, you know, few weeks but tonight I mean from the six minute more six minute point of the second quarter through the third no answers no this is uh, this season is definitely different does the booing like you know pretty pretty loud especially at the end of the game does that stick with you like how do you how do you handle like, nah, that like, nah. you don't take that home with you for, take it home for what I don't think about it. one take it home man well I got three beautiful kids at my house my wife I ain't taking it home they take their booing they get take that I ain't worried about that. Doesn't bother me none. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Tim Legler, it's my job to come up with questions. I'm not even sure what. The, I know you don't have answers for what is it. What? How do we explain <laughs> the, the way the Lakers look last night, and what does it mean? I think the scary part for me, Greeny, is, is you watch them some nights, and certainly last night was one of those nights, you don't see a collective will. And that's the problem right now. We know that they've had some difficulties fitting in these pieces, and Russ, Russell Westbrook in particular, and in trying to find his lane and be efficient. Anthony Davis has been out with injuries. We know those things, and all teams deal with those kinds of issues. But the other issue, their collective will, their body language, the way they give in to adversity so easily, Easily, those are the things that are much more alarming. If you're a Laker fan or if you're a coach on that coaching staff, those are the things that you should be able to control every night internally, individually, and they don't have that right now. When things start to go south in a game, it just collapses on them. And that is why when you look up and you take a look at the landscape in the Western Conference, there are just so many teams you watch that are better. They've got more talent, they've got better pieces that fit, and they fight every night and that's not a way that I can describe the Lakers none of those things um, this team looks like they're toast I think they're still going to make the play in but I just don't know if they're going to get out of that play in and actually make their way into a seven game series and even if they did the idea that they could be competitive to your point seems crazy the only thing you hang your hat on is if and when they get Anthony Davis back and he is fully healthy, can he make all of the difference? That's the one piece that isn't there right now and has been missing so much of this season. Can that possibly be enough to change everything? It can be enough to change to, to the extent you'll say, yes, I can definitely now see them escaping the play. And you're talking about you know, getting past Minnesota, potentially the Clippers, New Orleans. Yes, no question there. But when you start talking about coming from wherever you're going to have to come from, a seven or eight spot, play teams like Golden State or Phoenix or play a Memphis team, look at what's going on with Denver and Dallas, how good those teams have been. No, you just don't see them escaping a seven-game series. You know, One of the problems in trying to figure this out is Anthony Davis is so talented talented on both ends of the floor that you, you know you need to see it for an extended period of time to have a better idea he's going to make an enormous difference but I just think when you talk about the teams they would have to beat in a seven game series even Anthony Davis coming in here late to try to save the day I don't think is enough and I don't think you know it's amazing I'm writing off a team potentially that's got LeBron James and Anthony Davis on it if he's healthy but those teams at the top of the west are just significantly better in every facet 
That's 100 percent right. This was a season, I'll remind you, that began with the Lakers as the favorites to win the West. At this point, if they missed the playoffs entirely, it would not be a surprise. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.